like the rest of America this election season, I became obsessed with one man. He worked tirelessly, never even taking off his tie, traveling virtually and safely from state to state, fighting for America, people. I'm talking about NBC News and MSNBC national political correspondent, Steve Kornacki. Give it up. He's joining us now from his famous big board. What's up, Steve? Kelly, how you doing? I am so great and so happy you are here. So wait, so you earned the nickname, the chart throb, which is awesome. <laughs> how does it feel to have all these thirsty tweets about you? Uh, it, uh, it's not something I was expecting. I'll, I'll put it that way. And it took me a few days of, uh, you know, we we're just so busy looking at the election results, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, election week, and my friends and family start sending me these texts. And some of, they had to translate some of them for me. I didn't quite understand what was happening, but it was, it was quite an experience. I'll put it that way. Okay, well, just to embarrass you a tiny bit more, here are just a few. <laughs> Here's the photo. <laughs> We do not deserve Steve Kornacki. I love you. <laughs> and we have, Kornacki has big substitute teacher had a crush on energy. <laughs> this one's actually my favorite, cause she's funny. Chrissy Teigen even wrote, Twitter, I know you well, and I know you will throw aside and forget Kornacki, and I won't allow it. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I, I was actually a substitute teacher for a while. So <laughs> that, that one you put in there actually, it's close to my heart. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you've captured the hearts of America. Everybody's digging you. They ain't looking at that election. So here's what here's what Steve's tie looked like after election week. <laughs> <laughs> so there was even a hashtag trending for his pants, hashtag Kornacki khakis, which I think is awesome. And an Instagram <laughs> account made for those khakis, which why not? Um, so how long did you go without sleep or a shower? We were trying to figure it out. Um, I, I got up on election day. I was in the studio by about 5 a.m. on election day. We went, you know, all through the day, all through the night. We were on overnight. Um, I, I think it was about 50 hours straight at one point. You know, and I, I had a couple of naps during the week, but it, it's such a blur. Um, I remember I got out of there. We called the election finally midday on, um, on Saturday. When I got home, I, I fell asleep at about 6.30 at night, Saturday night, and I woke up at 10.45 in the morning on Sunday, which is the longest I've ever slept in my life. I know. Congratulations. You've just become like a, a member of a band, like a touring band. <laughs> <laughs> no sleep, no shower, must keep going. Um, well, now that the election's over, everyone wants to know, where the hell do you go? <laughs> It's, you know, we're, we're always, though, the, the fun thing is, of course, we got a runoff election, I should say, in Georgia, a Senate election coming up, so that's exciting. But, of course, we can keep tracking elections as well. For instance, we've been taking a look here at Thanksgiving desserts. It's the season <laughs> for Thanksgiving. So we said, Kelly, why not take a look at the, the race in every state around the country for what their favorite Thanksgiving dessert would be? And I got to tell you, we just had a close presidential election. That had nothing on this. Take a look at what we're seeing here. Look down in the southeast, sweet potato pie, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Sweet potato pie with 74% of the vote in is going to take Florida. That's a huge win for a sweet potato pie. But this is a very competitive election, Kelly. It's not just sweet potato pie. Take a look here in Pennsylvania. This was heavily contested. Pumpkin pie. We got just about all the votes in. Pumpkin pie is going to win Pennsylvania. Pumpkin pie also got New York. It got some other big states. Also, Nevada. Very slow count in Nevada. Looks like pumpkin pie's gotten over the top in Nevada, too. Brownies in some of those prairie and plain states do well. We're taking, we may have an election, Kelly, where no dessert gets 270 electoral votes, and this goes to the House of Representatives. I don't know what they're going to decide, but we're going to overtime when it comes to the battle for oh America's favorite Thanksgiving dessert. Okay, here's my thing. I'm Texan, and I say no to that pecan pie. I say yes to pumpkin. I'm just saying. You can't well, fight Well, we had a very pie. interesting... Uh, we had a very interesting geographic split in Texas. There was some pump some of those counties were big on pumpkin pie, but I think West Texas in the end came in for pecan. Dude, I love you even more right now. You are so funny. Um, hey, thank you so much, Steve. You're awesome. You're hilarious. You have such a, a light and a good spirit about you. Uh, we love you. Thank you for keeping us updated. Thanks, Kelly. I really appreciate that.